In this video, we're going to be using Sterling Gen and Tonics on the rocks and the very aggressive Sterling Stainless Razor with the hyper aggressive plate. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Sterling Gin and Tonic on the rocks. And uh, I'll show you the notes for it right there. This smells like you get a citrus sort of punch to it. Then you get a little bit of that uh, juniper. It, it smells like what it says, gin and tonics on the rocks, or gin and tonic on the rocks. It comes to you for a great price as always, $13.75 for 5.8 ounces or $2.37 an ounce on our cost chart, which is exceptional. It is a tallow-based soap. It is a very good soap. Some people think just because Sterling uh, is a budget-level soap or budget-friendly, it's not great. I would disagree. This is a great quality soap. It works great for me all the time. The star of the show, however, today is the Sterling Stainless Steel Razor with the Hyper Aggressive Plate. And this is an aggressive razor. It's one of the most aggressive razors I've ever used, if not the most aggressive. Well, let me show you a picture there of the blade gap. When you look at that, you know this plate brings it. This is not a razor for someone who wants a mild, easygoing shave. This one brings it. We're going to load it up today with a feather blade and uh, give it a go. Someone in the last time I used this said, will you use it with a feather? I said, sure. You know, it's not a big deal. Doesn't mean I won't nick myself or especially open up that little bump. I'll probably open that up today, but we'll give it a roll with the feather. And this is an aggressive razor. Um, it is marketed that way on, on the site. Rod is very clear about this being very aggressive and he uses it for two passes or one pass with buffing. And there the blade is sitting on that plate. And then you put the top cap down and then we'll show you what it looks like when we get it all put together. This razor brings it. I can't emphasize that uh, enough, but I've, I've uh, enjoyed it. It has, um, it comes to you, you can buy it for $159 with one plate or $179 with two plates. It comes in nice packaging, it comes in a box like that with a nice leather case. Um, when you get the whole package with both plates, again, $179, a very good value. I think in some of the best packaging, that leather case is super, super nice. It's, it's really, um, for me, it's a razor that I really, really enjoy. I've only used it a few times, but I'm telling you, it is an enjoyable razor to use and it is mighty aggressive. So we're gonna be careful uh, today. Let's go ahead and miss the face. We have our standard 24 hours of growth. And again, if we open that up, we're not gonna count that because that doesn't belong there. <laughs> anyway, we'll go ahead and use a sliver of Pre-shave today, just to, again, I'm trying to use this up. This is the PAA cube. Won't be needed, but again, certainly not gonna hurt anything. And I hope you guys are having a great, guys and gals, excuse me, are having a great Monday so far. We figured we would kick the Monday off with a nice, efficient shave, and this razor will bring it. Even on the standard plate, it's still quite aggressive. Um, it's, to me, even with the standard plate, it's equivalent to your razors with the 0.95 blade gap. I don't know what the actual um, blade gap is. Let me cut that back a little bit because uh, they don't publish it. But just take my word for it when I say it's efficient. <laughs> All right, let's get lathering today. The brush today is turn and shave. Of course, we have our Captain's Choice bowl and we shall get going. This soap, Smells really nice. Uh, you can't really detect as much from the tub as you can when you lather it. The citrus really comes out once you get it lathered from the tub. It, it's kind of mellow, but once you get it lathered, that citrus really starts to pop, which is, of course, quite enjoyable for me. And you can see that bump right there, right through the <laughs> lather, which may not remain after this shave. <laughs> um, when using this razor, you're going to want to ride the calf, and I'll show you sort of what the rod suggests and I suggest as well as you can see there beautiful lather which is one of the reasons I love sterling so much is so easy to lather and uh, it's very slick and you get the right amount of water in it and it's easy to work with you don't really have to finesse it I've no I noticed in a lot of the um, newer soaps with the, a lot of the skin foods they're low structure 
and they require more product and they don't produce quite as much volume. For me, that's not quite as enjoyable. Uh, okay, so let's get going. And when I say ride the cap, I mean more towards this way and less out that way. Again, this is an aggressive razor. You're gonna feel a lot of blade, so expect that. The hyper aggressive plate is not gonna be for a beginner. I'm gonna to try to go easy there, but I will not guarantee that we won't clip that mump. I would go as far as saying, even with the, uh, we've already clipped that bump, I believe. Um, I would go as far as saying, even with the standard plate, this is not a beginner's razor. This is for someone who's had some DE shaving or maybe straight C, I did clip that bump. Or straight razor shaving uh, under their belt. Um, because it does bring it. And I've had a good idea that the top of that bump would come off, but we certainly won't count that as a nick because we knew that would happen. Eventually we'll get rid of that thing. Either we'll keep, we'll keep cutting it until it uh, goes away or it will heal. <laughs> or we'll keep cutting it until it's so close to the surface that we won't cut it anymore. It'll be even with the skin. <laughs> All right. Again, try to keep it towards the cap on your angle with this razor. And as you can see there, on the unblemished skin, it just removes the hair uh, with no problem. Right, let's wipe that spot off there a little bit so we don't mix it in too much with our lather and make an ugly look. Maybe dab it a little bit there. And let's get to re-lathering. Again, this is an aggressive razor. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're going to feel some blade, so beware. Of course, we got blood on our brush there. That spot is probably going to plague me for a while, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll just keep rolling with our mission of getting excellent shaves regardless. Might look a little ugly, but that's okay. We've had some interesting weather. Um... A couple weeks ago, we had we were hitting 80, 80 degree days and it was beautiful, sunny, and now the last couple of weeks have been dreary and down in the, almost like spring's starting over, which has not <laughs> been fun for me. I prefer the close to eight, you know, at least 70 degree days with sunshine. Haven't had much of that the last couple of weeks. Before that, it was, uh, it was quite nice indeed. So we sort of turned the clock back and started spring over it seems like all right very nice on the lather getting some good menthol cooling which is again this is uh gin and tonic on the rocks on the rocks mean meaning uh there's some menthol in there and it is very nice in my opinion really enjoying it and that lather is just exceptional really makes a great quality lather again we'll try to ride the cap on the angle here much as you can. This razor, by the way, is made in the United States. And uh, again, very aggressive, no doubt about it. Um, I can't really recall having used a razor any more aggressive than this, meaning you're gonna feel a lot of blade. Um, it pretty much matches or exceeds that in any razor I've ever used. I'd say comparable feels might be something like the Yachi Night Helmet or their very, very aggressive slant or maybe something like the Ambassador, maybe opened all the way up. I haven't tried that one, but whatever you think is aggressive, think of it and then that's what this is. It doesn't play around. And uh, I'm telling you what, smooth. My skin is quite smooth. And I'm quite certain that I could get away with just two passes here, even though I haven't gone against the grain. We'll feel the face and see what it feels like. Rod said that he uses this generally for two passes or one pass with buffing. And I can see how that could be the case. 
let's feel around and see. Yeah, I'm mostly smooth. Let's knock that down a little bit. Um, I don't want to spread blood all over my face. But just dab that off a little bit. Um, yeah, I think we could probably stop there. <laughs> Honestly, I usually do three passes, but I think I'm going to stop. I, I don't think I need to do a third. Oh, heck, let's do a third pass. Why not? Let's roll with it. Might as well enjoy the shave. Get that third pass in. I definitely do not need it, but we'll go with it. What the heck? Might as well enjoy another pass. Uh, I think I could use just a little bit on the neck, but honestly, with that two passes there, that was plenty enough. Because um, this razor does, it's quite efficient. It is going to be, for me, probably, if not at the top of the heap in razor efficiency, it's close to it. Um, I'm thinking this is probably at the top of the heat now that the, the new standard for high aggression and or efficiency is probably this razor. It replaces the, it is considerably more efficient than the R41, the new model. It is as efficient as the old R41 from 2011 or 2013, whenever that was, can't remember. This probably will be the new measurement the HA plate now. Keep in mind, there's two plates, standard and HA. HA meaning hyper-efficient. This probably sets the new standard in my mind for most efficient razor. And if it's not the, it is very, very close to. So for me, this is the new bar. Um, for, for those of you who are seeking out a lot of blade feel and a lot of efficiency and or aggression, uh, this will be one to try. <laughs> Now, if you don't like blade feel, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. It is not for you. <laughs> this is a very serious shaver's razor. And by serious, I mean someone who appreciates um, aggression slash efficiency. I don't mean serious in terms of people who prefer mild shades aren't serious. I just mean if you're going to use this one, you're going to expect to feel a lot of blade. We've got some left, but honestly, it's not a whole lot. And we could have easily uh, stopped after that second pass. And again, other than opening up that bump, which I pointed out before he started, um, I think it's been a pretty, pretty decent shave here. But this is a razor you're going to have to use some care around. You're not going to zip around your face with this one. This one commands some respect. But I think if you give it that respect, it will certainly do an efficient job for you. And you might be able to get away, get away with two passes or like Rod says, one with some buffing. So keep that in mind. That's what it was designed to do. It was designed to bring it and it brings it. And this uh, gin and tonic on the rocks, I do prefer the on the rocks to the regular gin and tonic, which I've had in the past. Smells great once you get it lathered up. I think off the tub, it doesn't pop like it does when lathered. All right, there we go. Just a little bit down there. And we'll call that a shave. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. Then we used our alum and we closed that uh, bump up right there and I also had a little tiny bump right there that I think I clipped during the shave also so because there was some stinging there but otherwise smooth close shave uh, after the alum we did a cold water rinse then we dried off with our Lancaster then of course brought out the Thayer's Witch Hazel Magic because it's made by witches I really enjoyed uh, the shave today it was a really close um, efficient Shave the Sterling Stainless Razor with the Hyper Aggressive Plate. To me, it's at the top in terms of efficiency of all the razors uh, I've tried. And if it's not the top, it's near the top. This is probably the new standard in high efficiency as I see it. And it comes beautifully packaged. Uh, again, 159 for one plate, 179 for two with the wonderful case. I think it's a really, really good razor for those who are seeking a super efficient shave. If you like mild razors, this one is not for you, so please keep that in mind. 
We used the Sterling Gin and Tonic, which was tremendous. It had a great lather with it. It was awesome. Our turn and shave bowl, turn and shave bowl, turn and shave brush. <laughs> Captain's Choice Bowl, and I have forgotten my aftershave standby. And all right, we're back now with our aftershave, which is Sterling Lemon Chill to keep that menthol cooling going. Again, today's shape, very efficient. I could have easily stopped at two passes. And remember, if you have any bumps on your face and you're using that hyper-aggressive plate, they're gonna get scalped. <laughs> Just expect it, but still, we had an excellent shave. Nonetheless, knowing that we were gonna scalp that bump. Really, really nice, close, efficient. Great, efficient razor. But again, I warn you, if you like mild razors and that's the realm you like to stay in, not for you. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.